All right, boys and girls, uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Canadian Scott, they call me, uh, for obvious reasons, because my name's Scott, right? Anyway, uh, yeah, my online persona is Scotty the Redneck Canadian, which I had for a lot of years now, because I used to have a pretty cool channel where I blew shit up, and, uh, and then one day I showed people how to make ammunition, and YouTube erased, like, all my subscribers, which was a lot, and, uh... They didn't get rid of my channel. And it's funny because if you still go on my channel, that exact video that they did that for is still there. And you gotta watch ads. Even I gotta watch ads to watch it. But you know, they erased all my subscribers because they said that showing people how to make ammunition was uh, against community standards or some bullshit. Anyways, um, so obviously I'm not a fan of authority or the government. And uh, this morning I was like on Facebook and I was reading posts and everybody's pissed including and i was too okay um because everybody's like well my power was out for x number of days and my bill went up well mine did too um that's not why i investigated this stuff that we're going to talk about why your bill went up because i know why your bill went up we are because oh i don't know a month ago i decided that i was going to retire and i wanted to go off the grid and solar panels don't make a lot of financial sense but just because of who I am, I want to be off the grid and independent because uh, I don't like authority. I decided to mess around with these solar panels. So the first thing that I know about solar panels is on days like today, they don't produce a lot. Um, and you got batteries and all that stuff. So I was like, okay, well, I got to cut my consumption. I got I to gotta get this down to a bare minimum. And kind of what gave me the idea was that during the ice storm, when everybody was complaining, I was having the time of my life. I enjoyed it. I didn't miss having electricity at all. And I'm like, why do I have all this shit? Um, I, I actually enjoy melting snow on a wood stove and taking a shower that way. I mean, simple things, um, I don't know, can become enjoyable. Anyways, so I started doing a lot of studies over here at the compound on what takes electricity, how much electricity, blah, 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 blah. And uh, the first thing that I did was I figured out how the smart meter works and uh, how you can use that to figure out how much electricity is being used. So let's talk about solutions first. Let me show you how the smart meter works and how you can use that to determine what's using your power. And then we're gonna go back. And I just wanna say straight up, I'm not looking down my nose at anybody. These things that I'm gonna tell you about, I did too, okay? This is like, uh, you know, making sure the air in your tires is always up to pressure because you know otherwise you'll get bad gas mileage does anybody do it no i don't either does it make sense probably um but you know things like where your refrigerator is um which nobody's refrigerator is installed correctly i found out make a big difference so anyway let's uh go out to the meter okay so right now this number here this is a total kilowatt hours oops that's going to show that it works, blah, blah, blah. It's going to go back through it. It's going to show this error. That's because I'm down in a valley and there's no connectivity. I think they got something on their trucks they drive around. Anyways, 0 0.6, 0 0.06 kilowatt hours. That's what I'm using. So right now, that's all the stuff out in the barn. That's the main breaker for the barn. It's now off. So right now we are using nothing. But that in the middle is the breaker to my cabin. Everything's off, so let's go turn a bunch of stuff on in the cabin and come back out here uh, in the rain and in the wet. You can see it's still zero. I think they got trucks that drive around that read these meters every couple of days. Anyway, um, yeah, it's wet. This autumn olive bush has grown here. I don't know, whatever. I'm gonna do this for you guys because I love you. Knock it off. All right, so right here, hot water heater. And turn all the rest of the stuff back on. That's my uh, we'll flick that off. That's that electric range. Don't mind the freaking mess, dude. Uh, I moved the fridge and I had carpenter ants eating my floor right there, and it's crappy out. And when I went to start the sawmill yesterday, I was gonna do that in oak. And it appears the fuel filter is clogged. So I got to deal with that. All right. So right now, we're going to turn a bunch of shit on. Um, 
Let's see, coffee maker. See, I started unplugging all this stuff because everything takes electricity. All right, so the coffee maker's on. I don't know. Um, here, TVs make a big difference. Turn the TV on. We got some lights up top, LED lights, but still. Um, we got the TV on. Might as well turn the sound bar on. Might as well turn the dog fence on. Oh my God, what a freaking disaster this is in here. All right, dog fence is on. Here, we'll plug this bread maker on. These are all what I call parasites. Oh, okay, like that's the internet and cameras. Oh, we have phone booster. We're just going to waste as much electricity as we can. All right, phone booster's on. Oh, what else can we turn on? I don't know, a couple more lights. Outside lights. You know, we'll act like kids. Turn every light in the damn house on. All right, now let's go out there. And see what we're in. All right, so... Connectivity error. Just like that. 1.82 kilowatt hours. <laughs> so, now what you can do, that's like your baseline, right? So what you're going to want to do is start experimenting with plugging stuff in and unplugging stuff. I know 1,500 watts of that is uh, the water heater. All right, so right now I've got... Uh, everything back off so we're using zero um i turn the pump back on actually unwired the hot water here from that circuit it shouldn't be on that circuit i was just messing around all right we're gonna run the water we're gonna go see how much this uh water pump uses all right well i actually have not done this so i don't know how much it uses um, because it runs off a of 220 and a power inverter, um, just does 110. So I'm going to sit here, thankfully, and I shouldn't speak too soon. I'm not getting eaten by bugs, but at some point it's going to run down and it's going to kick on and we're going to see, and I'll edit this out. Right there, a lot. And now it's off. All right, so now we can see that that well pump used uh, almost 1.7 kilowatts of energy when it's running. Um, anyway, now you know how you can go back and forth to that smart meter and figure out what's taken up uh, all your electricity and what you're using so let's talk about why your bill went up even though you didn't have electricity for a couple days this here is my water heater element this is after i like soaked it in zap which uh is like the best stuff to get rid of calcium in line um this is like hall of shame shit i knew better i just I was dealing with some crazy women the last two summers and uh, I didn't take care of my hot water tank and what happened was this thing had all kinds of like it was crazy in fact I'll show you a, a video real quick we'll take a quick break uh, I'll pick my nose or whatever you guys can see how bad it was oh yeah so you can see we're not getting uh, any kind of efficiency out of that whatsoever. Just that little bit at the nub. So, all right, I didn't really pick my nose. I just stopped my camera. Anyways, um, my phone, whatever. Yeah, so this thing was totally encrusted. It was like really bad. Um, that's like insulation in between, like rock insulation in between it and the water. So when I came back after the ice storm, I went downstate and I was messing trying to get my house ready to sell down there and uh I'm like 
man, it's like been like three hours. My damn water heater isn't hot, right? The tank's not hot. Yeah, because this was so crusted. So why did my bill go up? Well, it didn't have to run three hours before, but when I was away and the water was off or the, the electricity was off, well, that water went back down to the ambient air temperature, which was probably around, I don't know, 36, 40 degrees, right? So instead of taking it up from 115 degrees up to 125 every so often, it had to take it from 40 all the way up to 125, and it took hours and hours and hours at 1,500 watts. Or if you get a bigger hot water tank, 4,500 watts, right? So why did your bill go up? Because you were starting at zero. And it's way more BTUs to get that water up from like 40 degrees to 125 or 150, whatever you guys set at, than to keep it maintained there, right? Okay, there's uh, one reason. Okay, the other reason, you might have noticed I got a fridge out here on my porch, okay? And uh, for those of my friends like back in Canada and uh, people, subscribers, I know I got like a subscriber in like uh, Philippines, that's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> I don't know, Northern Michigan people got this cultural thing where um, they like their stuff and uh, they, a lot of them tend to like to put their stuff on display in their front yards. So when you drive around Northern Michigan, lots of people, they're real proud of their stuff and they got it on display and you can see it. I'm not one of those people. The reason this fridge is out here is because I was sitting in my cabin thinking about how can I get rid of stuff that uses electricity and what's using electricity. This fridge was like constant, like rah, 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 to the point, you know, it's like the Blues Brothers, like how often the trains go by. So often you'll never notice, right? Well, until I started listening for the fridge, I never noticed it. And then it just started to piss me off because I was like, this thing just constantly runs. Well, you know what? It was my fault because I didn't install it correctly. And none of your fridges are installed correctly. I know that. Anyway, let's talk about that. All right, in short, this is how a fridge works. This is a compressor, it compresses the gas, puts it through something uh, called uh, an evaporator. And when it goes from uh, liquid to uh, gas, it uh, releases heat and then it condenses back in this condenser, right? This condenser is just like the radiator on your vehicle, all right? There's a fan on this one. Some of the old school ones to have the condenser just on the back, right? Okay, well, you know, I got like a tiny cabin, right? Well, this thing, of course, it was pushed right up against the wall because, hey, there's no condenser here, right? So it was pushed right up against the wall. The stove was here. The wall was here. And how's the air supposed to get through there, right? And then on top of that, you got all the dust bunnies that collect on there because there's stuff going through there so there's some amount of static electricity that collects all the dust bunnies so it's like a blanket on top of this thing right and not only is there a blanket there's nowhere for the air, air to circulate because this was just smacked right up against the wall and closed in that's why it was running all the time right i know everybody's just like that okay but now just like the hot water tank right when it went down to ambient air temperature when this fridge went up to ambient air temperature it had it had to freeze the freezer again and it had to cool everything off and it's not installed correctly i guarantee you if i downloaded the manual for this fridge it probably says like keep it like at least three inches away from the wall don't put anything on top of it right which totally makes sense like think about this let's put a blanket over our radiator and then uh, i don't know box it in with cardboard and then drive down the road and figure out why the car doesn't cool right anyway like i said these are simple things but that's why your bill went up because your refrigerators your freezers you know and a lot of us got more than one had to work like totally overtime. I mean, I used like over 40 kilowatt hours the day that I came back here and turned all this shit back on. That's why this fridge wasn't installed. And I know this for an absolute fact because yesterday it was like 85 degrees, right? And out here on my porch in the sun, I got this fridge and I got it plugged into the solar stuff. And I'm like, wow, it's like not even struggling. Why? Because all that could breathe. All right, so your fridge isn't right. You haven't taken care of your hot water heater. When you turn them back on and try to get them functioning again, that's why your bill went up. All right, and then the third reason 
that your bill went up. Uh, I'm going to call this the new phone effect, okay? Whenever you get a new phone, which I get one like every 10 years, usually because some chick that I've been dating destroys one. But anyways, whenever you get a new phone, right, you're always like, man, the battery life on this sucks. Because you just sit there and you mess with it, you mess with it, and you try all the new things out, and you just don't put it down, right? Well, <laughs> when the power went back on, everybody was like behind on their laundry and their dishes and whatever else, and I was too. I totally did this, right? So when I got back up here, you know, I ran the dishwasher, the one in the back, the one up here, like several times. I made sure like every dish in the whole place was done, right? Like all the laundry got done, like everything got done, right? Kids sat here on the phone. That's the video that got me banned, not banned from YouTube. Like I said, it's still there. They're even making money off of it. They just got rid of like 300,000 subscribers that I had. Anyway, um, so yeah, like everybody just went back, not just to what they were doing, but they were making up for the stuff that they missed out on. Probably left these televisions used like a ton, dude. Try it out on your uh, on your smart meter now that I showed you how to do that. You'll be surprised how much these things use. So, um, yeah, dude. Trust me. Like, I'm the guy, all right, who builds crazy stuff like this to try to, like, get free hot water. There was nothing more that I wanted than to blame the power co-op and to say, well, they're a bunch of scammers. They're scamming everybody. Um... But this is not what I found. And I mean, I don't know. You can be a smart ass and try to tell me I'm wrong. Go ahead. But I'm just going to tell you. Do it for yourself. And you will find out that I'm right. And if you get electronic, electric hot water tanks, that's like a huge culprit. As are refrigerators and freezers that are jammed up and don't have any, uh, any uh, air circulation around them. And I mean, I went and bought a new fridge. Like a mini fridge. Because... I'm like, I don't really need the big fridge. My kids are grown and they don't come up here and see me anymore. So anyways, that's your answer. Guaranteed. Take that to the bank. I hate the government. I'm not a big fan of the power co-op. I'm going off the grid. But that's what happened. And uh, you don't have to feel dumb. It's just I did it too. All right. All right. Till next time. Keep your sticks on the ice. I will post another video about how to fix your hot water tanks. All right. Later.